Isomers are defined as different molecules which share the same molecular formula. So, what are, the, what are the different types of isomers that we can form? Well, we can have constitutional isomers or we can have stereoisomers. So, what are the differences? Well, a constitutional isomer is defined as a group of molecules which share the same molecular formula, but the atoms and the molecules are connected in a different way or order. So let's first give an example of this. Let's start with a molecular formula, C4H10. Now, what are the different molecules we can draw from this one formula? Well, we can first draw butane, meaning a straight four-carbon chain. But we can also draw isopropane meaning a three carbon chain with one carbon branching off the middle carbon, like so. So let's first count the atoms in here and make sure that they follow the molecular formula. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens, and one, two, three, four carbons. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens, and one, two, three, four carbons. So they follow the same molecular formula. However, they're obviously different molecules because they are non superimposable on each other. Now let's give another example. Let's start with the molecular formula C3H8O. So what are some different molecules we can draw from this formula? Well, we can draw an alcohol, meaning a carbon chain with an OH group branching off of it, like so. But we can also draw something known as an ether, meaning two carbon chains which are connected by one oxygen between them. Like so. Now, again, let's count up the atoms to make sure they follow the formula. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens, one, two, three carbons, and one oxygen. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens, one, two, three carbons, and one oxygen. So they follow the same formula, but again, these two are obviously different molecules. So this basically does it for constitutional isomers. Now what about stereoisomers? Well, there are two main branches of stereoisomers. We can either have diastereomers, or we can have enantiomers. So, because enantiomers are more difficult to deal with, we'll mainly focus on diastereomers in this video. We'll talk about enantiomers later on. So let's first start with the definition of diastereomers. Now from above, we have the definition of a diastereomer being groups of molecules which share the same molecular formula. The atoms are connected in the same order in the molecules, but they're not mirror images of each other. So what are some examples of diastereomers? Well, the most commonly used example are cis-trans isomers. So let's remind ourselves what cis and trans mean. So in organic chemistry, we have cis-trans, meaning that we have two carbon compounds, two carbon atoms, uh, with a double bond between them, one hydrogen on each carbon, and one non-hydrogen group on each carbon. Now, we can draw a cis isomer, meaning the non-hydrogen groups are on the same side, but we can also draw a trans isomer, meaning the non-hydrogen groups are on opposite sides. So let's make sure that these two follow the definition for diastereomers. So they obviously share the same molecular formula, C2H2Cl2. They both have the atoms connected in the same order. Here we have Cl, C, C, Cl. Here we also have Cl, C, C, Cl. And they're obviously not mirror images of each other. Because if you pretend you drew a mirror here, they obviously don't match. Now, what are the other types of diastereomers we can form? Well, other than having cis-trans isomerism in double bonds, we can also have cis-trans isomerism in rings. So how does that work? Well, let's first draw a ring structure. Let's start with cyclopentane, meaning a carbon compound, a circular carbon compound with five carbons. Now, again, the rules for cis and trans are basically the same. In this case, in rings, we have a cis isomer 
if the two non-hydrogen groups are on the same side of the ring, like so, while we can have trans isomerism if we have the two non-hydrogen groups on opposite sides of the ring, like so. And again, let's make sure that they follow the rules for disteromers. They should the same molecular formula. It's basically a five carbon ring with two chlorines. Uh, they have the atoms connected in the same order. They have carbon, 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 and then two CLs next to each other, like so. But they're obviously not mirror images, mirror images of each other, because if you pretend you drew a mirror there, they obviously don't match. If you made a mirror image of this compound here, you'd get another cis compound. If you made a mirror image of this compound, you get another trans compound. So this basically does it for diastereomers.